What's up everyone? I am having a good time today because I'm uh, chilling out a little bit. Kind of got my bigger projects on the back burner. It's been quite a long week for me already and I figured I would sit and chill with absolutely one of my favorite games of all time and one of my favorite fighting game characters of all time, Riptor. And this is of course Killer Instinct, the very first that came out Middle of the 90s, this game came out out of nowhere. And I tell you, my buttons are wrong. Which is a really, 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 really bad and stupid start. Alright everybody, welcome. You are watching Killer Instinct. This game came out in the middle of the 90s on the arcade scene. It's still to this day is one of my favourite games ever made. And I figured I'd uh, kind of just sit and do a bit of an arcade run. I actually plan on visiting this game in a lot more detail at a future date. Stay tuned for that, obviously, but I thought I'd just sit and do an arcade run because feeling good today. <clears throat> Been a bit of a busy week for me, so kind of just relaxing a bit and we'll play the game and we'll have a good time with it. This is the basic kind of generic settings. So AI difficulty in that is kind of very high at the beginning. <laughs> the move reading is pretty out of this world. But get ready. See what I mean? Instant Andy is sick. All right, Jago. I have extremely fond memories of this game. I'm playing on emulation for those that want to know. Oh yeah, we're playing Killer Instinct, right? So, no, oh, no, hang on. Eat this. I'm kind of just sitting here and absorbing. I always get nostalgic playing this game. It doesn't matter how many times I play it, I get nostalgic visiting Killer Instinct. Obviously, you would fight the AI a bit differently than you would a real human, but... Eat that! Yes! Why am I trying to fake out overhead the AI? That's not going to work. Nice hand here. Wake up attack! Eat that. Oh! Through the fireball. AI got those sweats. Hey! Oh, this game is so sick. But this game introduced a lot of things uh, in terms of just how over the top everything was. And you can probably already tell that. Aye. You have to do certain combos in the mirror because you can't do traditional combos against Riptor. Which is hilarious, really. I'm going to get out of the corner. Take that. Heavy attacks do a lot of damage in this game, you know. Hey! Check this out. Oosh. I'm gonna eat her. I'm gonna feast. I'm gonna feast. <laughs> I am merely a child when it comes to sense of humor. Glacius. Glacius, Mustard's favorite character. Really sick stage music though. So you kind of try and keep your combos pretty low anyway, even when you fight humans. You can do gigantic combos, but the longer the combo is, for the most part, the more opportunities the opponent has to just break, which we don't want. The AI will absolutely combo break you as well. It does damage. I don't want to give them free damage. Lucky there, though. Didn't break it. 
Oops. Had an opportunity there to do some damage, but I didn't take it. Uh oh. What are we going to do? Wake up attack! I realized I've forgotten how to do humiliation. How do you do it again? Let me double check my notes. Back, 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 fierce kick. Oh, you probably have to be really far away, actually. I actually don't humiliation people before. I really, it's just not something I do. Take this. Yes. So you kind of just interrupt them at the moment. When it comes to the AI, you kind of just have to play by their rules a bit. Keep things to... Oh! I didn't have charge! Eesh! Combo's off the overhead, I see. I see you, I see you. Gotta be careful because they can just do projectile. She has a projectile immune charge that goes pretty far. Oh, I meant to jump over it. Okay, we might be okay. Yes! AI Orchid is always a weird one. Always, always, always. There's so much to explain with this game and how it works that I definitely won't be able to squeeze it into a kind of while playing live scenario. But for now, we're going to just sit and chill and play. See how far we get without losing. I probably will have to use a continue, especially once you hit the later stages like idle. Idle is cheap. AI does not really break that combo. That's why I do it a lot. AI does not break it all that often. See, look, the second I do a link, they break it. Wake up attack. Hey! Mash, 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 mash. That's right. Whoop, no breaker for me. I tried. Wake up attack. I'm surprised he didn't break. I was thoroughly expecting him to break there and it would have killed me. Come on, combo. Eey, I'm gonna eat. Time to feast. <laughs> See, I really thought combo was gonna uh, combo break me in that first round, because they do. At this point in the arcade, they always break you, and the break does a lot of damage. Combo breaker gives you some new mechanics and stuff too. A lot of people don't know that. Take that, Cinder. AI Cinder, he jumps a lot. There's the breaker. Oh, so much damage it does. Eesh. Ouch. Have to keep things really simple against AI, Cinder, because he will just kill you. Instant read. No break for you, Sunny Jim. Aye, that killed me. Ouch. I'm fine. Whiff that all you want. There's no meter in this game. Whoa! That's not supposed to do that much damage. To this. Can I knock him off? Is he off? No. We're off axis. I wanted to knock him off the stage. We didn't get there, though. I'm not doing too bad. I'm about to hit the sub-bosses. Got to get through Saber Wolf first. Bad start. Oh, very bad start. I whiffed. I totally whiffed. All right, go on. Hey, you wasted no time with that breaker. All right, here we go. Got to get out of the corner. Got to do a bigger combo. Jump. I'm probably dead, but we'll try. No break. Come on, do something I can punish. Do something I can punish. Yes. All right, now we enter the cheapest of the cheap. 
The sub bosses. Right. You kind of have to ignore combos completely against the uh, the bosses. Like spinal, lots of jumping, lots of heavies. It's gonna look weird, but this is just what you have to do. Because if you if you do any combos, they uh, break instantly. I'm jumping around like a premium online warrior right now. You have no idea. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. I don't mind getting air to air. Spinal's not going to get much damage if I'm in the air. Idiot. The funny thing is, the AI is so used to... <laughs> Oof. Take this. Considering the AI does nothing but move read you in this game, jumping heavies are a hilarious source of damage they can't challenge. Folgore is the same. However, with Folgore, you can basically block him to death. But not from that range. He'll do punishable moves, but you have to punish him with single hits. Just trust me, it's the way it is. Oh no! Block, block, I don't care. Yep. Teleport into uppercut is something he definitely does. Yes! Alright, here we go, here we go. Right, that's free damage. Punish. Punish. No! He can still kill me here. Punish and then kill him. <laughs> and now it's final boss time. Now I will lose here, I guarantee you. How many times I don't know, but Idol is the cheapest of the cheap. See, that's in that is invincible. And he killed me in basically one combo. <laughs> Jump in. Jump. Oh no. So he's got an invincible charge that he moves read you with. And, uh... It's very much... Oh, he broke me! And when he stomps the ground, he heals. So if you didn't think it was bad enough... Eesh! Oh, he hit me in the feet! Well, that was a disaster, wasn't it? Let's go again. So, it takes a lot of, uh, it takes a lot of tries. You can manipulate idle, and I'll probably get around, I'll show you that later on. Because it is funny. I, I actually risked my whole life bar doing that sweep. That's the invincible! Oh. And he's healing it all back! Oh, he's so cheap. Oh! This was the 90s, folks. This was this character. What? That was a single projector. I did like a third life. I'm never used to it. And he's just going to heal it back up. See, oh, God. It's just Invincible Headbutt City that he's move reading with. So cheap. So cheap. So, like I'm trying to say with him kicking my ass, this boss exists to take your money. I'm going to change color. Become green. Green's the secret. The whole point is that you just, you fight idle and then you're screwed, basically. Look, he broke that. I didn't even do anything. Jump. Come on, dude, jump at me. Jump at me. If I can just get this life bar. If I can just get this life bar. Alright, I'm gonna just get mid-screen again. Because if he's mid-screen, he can jump. And if he jumps, I can hit him. I meant to do fireball! If he kills me now, he's gonna heal. Whoa, that hurt. Oh, he's not gonna heal at least. Jump. Oh, man. 
Oh, there's the invincible bloody thing. And he's healing it all up. Look at him. What's he doing? I oh. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> I was waiting for him to make a move. I got I got faked out so hard. Blue time. It's time to be blue. Alright, idol, do your worst. If I sit full screen, he might jump. Or he's just gonna walk at me. Oh, we traded! That doesn't hurt. Ow! God damn it. Oh, he breaks the second you touch him. It's so bad. Oh, and there's the invincible charge. Why did I do it? And he's healing his health back up. No! Idle. Stop this madness. I might just jump. Hey! So this is basically just my growing up with Killer Instinct coming uh, come to pass. It's just, this is what it was like. You do really well getting up to him, and then he just absolutely kicks the shit out of you until you eventually kind of just get lucky. Jump. I'm going to jump around. Ow! What? That's so much... Oh, God. All right, jumping's not the key. Ow. Invincible. Eesh. At least he's not... Oh, I'm about to say, at least he's not stomping, but he's got full health. Why would he? Oh! Idle, you sheep. Eesh! Charge! <laughs> God's sake! All right, that's okay. This is all right, because I have a secret weapon. This is... Let me just give myself some more credits. You want to beat Idol, this cheap, cheap character? This is how you do it. What? Not, not like that. Who's cheap now, buddy boy? No. I can be cheap too. Oh, see, I messed up. I was supposed to go for my projectile immunity at the end of that last round because it means he haven't got to worry about his damn fireballs. No. -y. And that's how you beat Idol when you've had enough. When it's time to match cheap with cheap, you become the cheapest and the GG's come through. I'll just pretend it was a Riptor arcade all the way through, right? Best Riptor you've ever seen. And now he ducks down in pathetic defeat to the hands of PND Ketchup. And in a twist turn of events, Riptor becomes Cinder, leaving as the champion of the tournament, a hostile police department awaits him outside the gates of Ultratech. As no stranger to confinement from his former life of crime, Cinder has no intention of being imprisoned again. Using his newly acquired power, he easily evades the capture attempt, leaving his potential captors in his wake. And he goes to live in a volcano, look, look at that. Picking a location suitable for his current condition, he ponders his next move. And that is going to be the ending of Cinder and the end of this Killer Instinct arcade run. I'm going to let the credits roll here, though, because this was such a sick game. It really was. Um, nothing but fond memories about this. I grew up with the Super Nintendo version, but the second you discover, you know... When I was a kid, I had no idea this was even based on an arcade game. Like, I thought the Super Nintendo version was the game. Obviously, you get older and you start to realize, oh, wait a minute, no, there was this entire more powerful version of this game that I've spent my whole childhood playing, and now here we are. There's a lot to Killer Instinct, and this game, competitively, is really interesting. Something I do plan on covering one day. It's just right now the timing's not quite right. I've got a lot of things going on work-wise and other videos and stuff, but... I have some special stuff planned for the old Killer Instincts, let me tell you. Thank you so much for watching, enjoying this kind of sit-down arcade run with me. 
I really like doing these every once in a while and especially if I'm uh, kind of chilling out for the day and I've got some time I put together one of these. So this was Killer Instinct 1994, I believe this was, 94, 95. Either way, it's one of my favorite games ever made and it does play so well to this day. It's aged like a fine wine, even if it doesn't have grabs. <laughs> Cheers for watching, I'll see you next time. Much love, peace out, and take care.